And look for us, I mean, 19, you know, we ran 10 years from 85 to 95 of, you know, really running it up and built a great business and Mm -hmm. had grown to be the number three national wholesaler. And, uh, and then things changed, you know, the, the world changed and a, a lot of the retailers at that point in time started uh, creating or buying or forming their own wholesalers and started moving business into that. And we had to switch our, our business model completely from getting uh, uh, from our market share being with national brokers to uh, being able to service independent brokers. And uh, mm-hmm. uh, it uh, took work. I mean, it was to be frank, I, I learned something about the business from 85 to 95 about, mm-hmm. you know, team and alignment and partnership. Uh, but I, I really didn't learn about running a business until uh, things started failing and started falling apart. Mm-hmm. And we had to change our, our approach and change our model. So uh, that is when uh, I really learned what uh, business is all about because you you don't learn that much from from success, but you learn a lot from adversity and from failure. And uh, we had a lot to change. So, well, John, it sounds like there's a direct correlation between your experience with baseball and when you hurt your arm, and when you had to master those alternative pitches and deal with adversity to to become crafty. To um, you know, your experience with the wholesale model with Tri Cities, and I also want people to be aware of like the scale that you took this thing to, which, you know, the stats that I have are you guys had four offices, 200 employees and 600 million in gross written premium. So, um, I don't know if those are the the same numbers that you have off the top of your head, but enormous scale. Those are the stats. Yeah. Yeah. And we did it all organically. I mean, back then there were there were no acquisitions. It was, you know, one, one employee, one person at a time. We cherry picked people who had that, uh, that winning attitude and, and that desire to do something, uh, to do something great. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's not hard. You're, like I said, you're, you're building a business, finding, finding great talent is really challenging, really difficult. And then, and then molding them. 